Greetings. I'm Evan Swenson. I'm an author and a book publisher. I'm also a member of Author Masterminds, sponsors of Readers and Writers Book Club. Welcome to Readers and Writers Book Club. This is the worldwide online general membership meeting of Readers and Writers Book Club, rapidly becoming the book club destination for all readers of good books. Thanks for being here. Today's membership is represented online by author mastermind members and other book club members participating on Facebook Live. I hope you'll find every reader is a friend and every author is approachable. Once again, welcome to Readers and Writers Book Club. Of course, we'll be conversing about books, authors, writing, and the magic and miracle of reading. We'll also discuss the fun of reading competition when we talk about readers and writers, book clubs, battle of the books. And you'll have some fun and outdoor prizes and conversation with authors and club members. We'll also let you know where to send your mailing address to receive a free autographed copy of Steve Levi's poem. Okay, let's meet today's co-hosts. Okay, let's meet today's co-host. First, Mary Ann Paul. Let's see, uh, Mary Ann, we've got a title for you, and I can't remember what it is. Your background kind of scares me off anyway. So <laughs> you're, uh, you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're America's, get me, let me get it right, America's, my blank. mind went blank. Help me there. <laughs> Valerie, if you got, got it, pick, pick it up. What's your tagline, Marianne? Right, real quick. America's Lady of Supernatural Thrillers. America's Lady of th th Supernatural Thrillers. And we know that by your background. <laughs> there, we're going to talk about that a little bit. I, we got to see that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Valerie Winez, uh, Dark Dog's Best Friend. I got that one, Valerie. Welcome today. <laughs> we're, we're Dog's Best to Friend is much easier than... America's Lady of Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I understand that. Well, it's nice to, nice to be here today. We are going to have some fun. We're going to have some prizes. And uh, in fact, the prizes are already started. People can uh, receive their email about uh, the members of the book club because members of the book club are the ones that are eligible for the prizes. And so they've, they've received their email uh, and they know how to do it. We're also going to talk a, a little bit all, uh, later, too, with, uh, uh, with about Steve Levi's poem. <laughs> yeah. Steve Levi. We'll, we'll talk about him. But uh, uh, Valerie, I wanted to uh, start with you get, just to get the discussion going here. Thanks for being here, okay. by the way. Oh. It's fun. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. So uh, you're uh, the book club, Readers and Writers Book Club, is sponsoring the Battle of the Books. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have that an ongoing thing. And so all of the author mastermind members will have opportunity to have their books in the Battle of the Books, the next one coming, if they're not this time. But your book is in the one this time. Your book, uh, tell us about that book quickly and, uh, and your feelings about being featured in the battle of the books. Well, I'm just really excited. You know, um, to me, this battle of the books, our very first one is so exciting. And it comes at a time when people are staying at home, staying in their houses. And uh, as the weather gets nicer, I'm sure they're gonna wanna do things outside, but they're still at home. So they've got time to be involved in this great thing. I think just think it's gonna be more fun than should be legal. <laughs> and I am very pleased that my book is one of the ones um, that's going to be included, that is included in the Battle of the Books. Now, the road trip with Remington Beagle, Michigan to Alaska and back, is kind of like a travel log written by a beagle. 
So Remington Beagle tells the story about all the places that he stayed as he camped and he traveled on a road trip from Traverse City, Michigan to Alaska, and then all the places that he traveled in Alaska. And I, you know, it's beyond me why anybody wouldn't want to read it because Alaska is such an amazing place. <laughs> well, that's my home, I guess. <laughs> Alaska is my home. Uh, Mary Ann, uh, well, Alaska used to be your home. Yes, uh, it but, did. But this is not a, the, the, this thing behind you is not a picture from Alaska, surely. It is not a picture from Alaska. This is from Doolahan, the fourth book in the series, and hopefully to be offered in our next round. Um, has never been offered before. And this is a set in East Texas. So it's in the swamps of East Texas. And this behind me is a Doolahan. <laughs> no, no, no. So a Doolahan is a side, a horse, a headless man. What is it? A Doolahan is the um, Irish version of a of a headless horseman. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So yeah. although you can't see the head, you know, right now. Yes, so, that's what it is. So um, and a very nasty one at that. <laughs> and that's in your book, du Doolahan. That's okay, correct. Okay, all right. The fourth in the series. Marianne, you're watching uh, the Facebook Live mm -hmm. uh, to see pe people are there. Are, are uh, people uh, coming there and joining in? Uh, we, we got a conversation going there at all? Uh, Not yet. We do have uh, Stephen Levi and Rebecca Wetzler and Mary Flint are here. So I'm hoping we'll have other people join us soon. Evan, I'm wondering, um, you know, I'm a member of the book club, but I'm wondering if I qualify for a copy of Stephen Levi's poem, because I would really like to have one. <laughs> well, uh, yes, you do. That's the only thing you qualify for today. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, uh, somewhere we've got... Uh, uh, Steve Levi's phone number, I mean, an email address. Uh, let's, let's just talk about that uh, poem. Uh, Steve is, I think Steve's Alaska's most prolific writer. Uh, he, he writes about a lot of different subjects, but here's a picture of this a poem we're talking about. And it's got a lot of photographs in it, uh, period mm -hmm. photographs. Uh, I see that uh, I see that uh, Steve has joined us over on Facebook Live. Marianne, is that right? Hey, well, it says he's watching us, so okay. I don't know if he's gonna type in a comment or not. So let's shout out, Steve. Type a comment in here. Okay, so Steve, what we would like you to do, uh, since you're here, is you've got kindly, graciously uh, offered to uh, send people ten people a copy of your poem, those that are attending the event today. So uh, if you uh, would mind, wouldn't mind, type in your email address in the comments. Anyone that wants to uh, receive one of these poems of Steve Levi's, uh, why then uh, just uh, send Steve an email and the first 10 that respond uh, will receive a copy of the poem autographed by the author. I think that's the way it is. Now, Steve, if that's not right, uh, Marianne will pick up your comment over on Facebook Live. Otherwise, uh, send your uh, email. And I think that email is uh, steve at stevelevibooks.com. I believe so. But, uh, I believe you're right, Evan. OK. And so then also any uh, uh, members of the club uh, that you want to win a Amazon gift certificate or uh, one of our drawstring cap, uh, packs, uh, the uh, readers and writers drawstring packs, why also fill out your raffle when that you receive. And at the end of the program, why we will award that raffle uh, award and we'll uh, let you know. So any, any comments uh, that uh, Marianne and uh, Valerie that, that you have that you'd like to uh, make 
to uh, the members of Readers and Writers Book Club. Well, I think if you haven't read any of uh, Stephen Levi's short stories or books, um, you're missing, you're really missing something. If you go to Readers and Writers Book Club site, he has many short stories. Um, you know, I think, um, I think he's almost another O. Henry. He does these great short stories that have mysteries involved, but he will tell you he never murders anybody, but they're great. And uh, so they make you think, and um, I just highly recommend them. What do, what do you say, Mary Ann? Well, I think Steve is an amazing writer, but I think everyone in their in our in author masterminds is, but I'll tell you, Stephen, Steve's his um, mysteries, his books are just astounding mysteries. And although he doesn't kill anybody, which I can't say is true for me, he does do an amazing story even without that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does, yes. <clears throat> well, here's, here's one thing that I've noticed. No matter which one of the author mastermind authors we're talking about, we all come up and say, that author is amazing. And, you know, it depends on what uh, what genre they're in. And, of course, they write in a, all different kind of genres. But each author has a kind of a niche personality or whatever it is. I don't... Did you I find was, that, that that's the way? I have found, and that's what I love about this, is that we have 20 authors, and each one of us are different, and yet we're cohesive. And I feel like you, you know, you actually heard a bunch of artsy cats, Evan, most of the time. And <laughs> literally, you do, you know, we, because we are all doing our own little thing, and yet we're all coming together to help each other. I love it. You know, I couldn't agree with you more, Marianne. And the thing is that um, since I joined Readers and Writers, uh, since I joined Author Masterminds, I have read so many different books that I never would have picked up if I had seen them on a shelf in a bookstore or on a online I I wouldn't have picked them up and but I yes. picked them up and I started reading them and it's opened you know it's just made me I'm an eclectic reader now yeah. <laughs> oh, we've all grown up a little I'm the same way and you know what I find and I'm going to say this because I believe it not because of anything else but I have read several of our people's books and every one of them the mysteries are better than in, as, as good as any of the New York Times mysteries and better than a lot of them absolutely and, and I haven't gotten to read Remington Steele yet but I just can hardly wait because I know that'll make me feel good you know, and um, like in Victoria's horse books, I wouldn't have ever read one of those, but oh my gosh, they're wonderful, you know, so the writing caliber of the group is astounding, but, but what's more is the heart of the group. You know, the, this is an amazing group of really caring people that I'm privileged to be a part of. And we're honored to have you. You're a great writer yourself, Marianne. I just think um, in order to be the caliber of writer that, for example, you are, you also have to be a voracious reader. You've, I, you probably can't even count the number of books that you have read. Oh, gosh, and no. so you are an expert in saying what's a good book and what's not a good book as far as I'm concerned. And so there you go. Um, I think that the caliber of the writers in this group is, you know, I put them up against anybody. Mm -hmm. I would too. And I, um, Evan too, Evan's a, he's a, all these other things, but he's a darn good writer too. So he is. Like, he is. You know, he's humble though. Now. He's humble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a better publisher than a writer. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm not I'm in sure. your guys' class even close. But he's, and you're a great editor too when you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's talk about the book club for just a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that we say about the book club, similar to we say about author masterminds, and that is, is where every reader 
is a friend and every author is approachable. Mm -hmm. And we like that approachable thing. Uh, anyone that's a member of the club, that's a reader, we, we consider them to be our friends and I we agree. treat them like friends. Yes. And all of the authors are approachable. I don't know one of the authors that uh, wouldn't be pleased to uh, share their uh, email address, some of them even their phone number. That to, to an ideal reader under under certain 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 circumstances, I'll spit and untwist my tongue on that one, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, would uh, share because they're all approachable. They're they're not high and mighty in any way. Even though my consideration is that they're the world's best authors. They're all the king or queen of their genre. So, how how do you, uh, Marianne and uh, Valerie, how do you feel about this? every reader is a friend in the Readers and Writers Book Club. Go ahead, Valerie, you go first. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you know, when I, when I set about to write a book and I've only written two and the third one is real close, I think about, I write it for an audience. I write it for, um, all ages actually, but for a specific mm -hmm. audience. And I am just honored when anybody uh, recognizes that work or likes that work. And it, you know, it just uh, is fuel for the fire for me to, to do more writing. And um, so I just think it's great. I, I would give my email or my phone number, I'll give you my dog. <laughs> no, 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 wait no, a minute. I wouldn't give away my dog. No. No. Not giving my dog up. You're much better than I am. Not my dogs and my cats. No. <laughs> well, you, you know, Valerie, I have heard Marianne many, many times say exactly what you said. Mm -hmm. I write for my readers. Mm -hmm. Right, Marianne? I do. Um, I didn't know who was going to really want the first book, but after that, when I found out who my ideal readers were, um, yes, I do, because I do have people ask me, when's the next book coming out? And if, when somebody asks that question, oh, it makes me feel really good. Um, but more than that, I really love to get to know people. Oh, yeah. I'm an introvert, but, but nobody knows that. I mean, I love to live in, I'm a hermit. So, you know, during this coronavirus, everybody stay at home thing, I'm pretty good, you know. So, but uh, you're a I'm willing like, participant, are you? I'm a willing I have, that's what I was doing before. It's like, what am I? I'm not doing anything different. So, it's like, um, so um, I don't know why I got off on that subject. Sorry. Uh, I just, you know, I love to talk to people, even though I like to get my energy when I'm quiet. And so, anybody who wants has questions about how I write, why I write what I do, um, who I am, well, they can either look at videos that we've posted because they'll find out or um, they're always willing to email, you know, always can email me and always, you know, call if they need to. Thank you, Marianne. I, uh, did you hear from Steve about his uh, email address? I, no, that little stinker, right? So yeah, he, said, he said he was here, but maybe he uh, just said he was here and then slipped away to write. He he, might have. That's our Steve for you. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. writing all the time. <laughs> I don't think he sleeps. I don't. Uh, <laughs> he writes. <laughs> As I live, I write. No, somebody else said that. I, one one of our authors. It wasn't uh, me. I yes, sleep. I like to sleep too. Yeah. <laughs> it says, As I breathe, I write. Ah. Well, Steve, is, as I live, I write. That's for sure. Steve, He's we so want cute. your email address so that people can get that uh, free uh, copy of your poem. So if you just put that out there, we would appreciate it. Uh, I'll put that poem up again so that people can see that uh, for just a moment. Uh, and then we're going to show, I want to show you something else too. So um, anyway, uh, here's uh, Steve's uh, poem that we've been talking about. The uh, Seward Territory of Alaska Gold Railway Robbery of 1926. Not current events, by the way. <laughs> but I looked, <laughs> I looked through that, and uh, it's a uh, real interesting, actually, to, to see the the period 
pictures and then Steve's poem. Well, you know, I, I <laughs> what do you say about Steve's poetry? You know, writing of any kind. Anyway, he's, he's uh, good. Yeah. So, uh, Marianne, uh, if uh, you haven't, uh, if we haven't got Steve's stuff there, got his email address, can you message him over there and uh, on Actually, the Facebook can, Live? And I'll, uh, I will. I'll, okay. Uh, all right. I don't know then, if I, here, there he is. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get to him. Um, yeah, if you just let him know that we'd him like to. Him. We'd like so, to. Uh, we'd I like to hear. Yeah. Otherwise, maybe we can put it out some other way. But we'd like uh, to have the members uh, have an opportunity to see Steve's uh, poem, and he's graciously offered to uh, contribute. Uh, Ten of those and send them to them. Uh, I want to talk for just a moment, if I uh, could. I could. I'm running the meeting, so I don't have to ask permission. Do I? <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> you know, I, I really feel like, however, that I, I, sometimes that I really need to ask permission to do things because uh, it's you that we're uh, you authors and readers that would like to do the things that you want to do. But I just wanted to uh, just get this uh, Battle of the Books intro, as we call it, uh, out and just do it one time uh, here with the sound and everything. So uh, I'll, I'll warn you, it may be a little loud uh, when you, but, but I've cut it down some, but I'm not sure just how soft the sound is or how large or how loud it is. So be ready to hold your ears or whatever. But I like this that because it just kind of brings out the excitement that I feel for the battle of the book. So here it is. Okay, did that make you excited? Yeah, I think that's really cool. Although I like, I, it. I like it. Don't you have a blast one? <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying. I think I think Steve Levi has been trying to get on the meeting with you and I, so I'm going to try to send him, um, and see if he can get on. Okay, that'd be great. I think that's what he's telling me. He can't log in, and I'm going. Oh well, where are you trying to log into? So now I have to find the link you gave me again. That'd be nice we, if we could uh, get him here. That'd be good. Uh, it looks like that maybe there's someone else that wanted to uh, come and join us, uh, but I don't see them now. Here it is. Uh, we could have, I wish we could have got uh, Valerie or Ashley Blankenship. Uh, she sent us. Um, her uh, email address, and I would, uh, and she would like to participate today, but uh, I'm not sure that we can do that. Uh, I wish we could, uh, but, uh, Ashley. If we'd have got that quicker, we would have sure liked to have had you here. Uh, I hope that you will uh, be watching and uh, participating next time, and if you just uh, respond a little bit early ne next month's meeting. We would really like to have you join us here. I'll let you know too, by the way, uh, Ashley, what I'm uh, saying now, because we would like to include you next time. And, uh, and uh, Ashley's uh, email address says Ashley loves to read. We really want to have. <laughs> we really want to have Ashley here. We'd like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am looking for this. Uh, there we go. So if, if we can get Steve okay, there. Okay, I'm going to forward this to Steve. I just found it. So I'm going to uh -huh. forward this on to Steve. Hopefully he's hearing me here. Yeah. Okay, Steve. And uh, if you'll uh, uh, come and see us, we would uh, really like to have you go. do that. We'll share with, uh, share with us your uh, email address and uh, so that we can uh, talk with you. Uh, Mary Ann? Yes. I am going to do something. I'm going to try something. Okay. I'm going to send you a copy of, uh, of that message that I have from, 
There it goes. From a Ashley Blankenship. Okay. And it's got and she and in it she's uh, she has her uh, email address. Would you also send uh, Ashley a uh, email that link that, that and if she's listening and if she gets it in time, uh, why well, we'd be pleased to have uh, Ashley join us. Now Steve has also put his email up here, so we're good. Okay, that's good. Um, and I'm just I'm now seeing all these nice little. Um, comments that we have here. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, goodness, everybody's been commenting. I'm trying to make comments, Rebecca says, but she, for some reason, her box to type in won't allow her on the live list. <laughs> well, <laughs> hmm, not, what have you done? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so I don't know if Steve will join us or not, and you're sending me the other one. Is that correct? From Ashley? Yes, I sent you the email address okay. of, of Ashley. If you could just, uh, you would love to have uh, Ashley come on and, uh, and visit great. with us for a few minutes. Okay, I'm um, waiting to see if, it, if it's coming in. Yeah. It hasn't come in yet, but I'll check again. It okay. Well, Here it comes. All right, well, that'd be good. Okay. Well, Kevin, can you tell me, um, you know, in the battle of the books, it doesn't matter what order people read the books in, right? Not at all. So mm -hmm. they can just go to the Battle of the Books, Readers and Writers Book Club, and see the, the all of the 10 books that are there, and they can choose any of those That's and right. then read it and answer the questions. Yeah, or if they've already got the book, or get it from the library, or, you know. Awesome. Steal it from the neighbors or whatever it is, you know, <laughs> however you they go. get it, you know. There you go. But but if you're gonna steal it from the neighbors, stay six feet away from them. <laughs> you know, that, we gotta have this social distancing, you book thieves. So <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I never thought of that, but that would be a difficult thing for a thief now, wouldn't it? Especially yeah, yeah. pickpocket. Well, yeah, well, what, one people. of the one of the mayors actually came out. And sent a sent something out and and, and said uh, something to the effect that uh, uh, you thieves uh, cool it for a while, will you? <laughs> you're, you're you're spreading deserved germs around. Is that Stephen Levi, the poet? I see. There That's he Steve is. Stephen Levi. Can okay, you see Steve. Me now? Hey. I, okay, and I just can you see me now? Also. So. Um, I just sent off to Ashley. Steve, you're here. Thank you for being here. And you're going to want to mute Steve or whoever. You're going to want to mute uh, live on Facebook. I hear you. It's coming in 10 seconds later for you. Yeah. So you, uh, Steve, you want to uh, turn your uh, computer off so that, uh, or turn the sound down on Facebook Live. Otherwise, uh, 30 seconds later, you'll hear your own voice because we're a little early here and it takes about 20 to 30 seconds to get to Facebook Live. So just turn your uh, sound down on your computer or, or close uh, the computer over on the Facebook Live and then come back and talk to us. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, but you uh, got to unmute yourself, Steve. Now, unmute and talk with us. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Steve, you're you a heck now. of a writer. We just got to train you on this technology hey, stuff. what can I say? <laughs> he, he is well, a heck of a writer. <laughs> I, think, I, I think one of the most important things to say, uh, particularly with the Battle of the Books, is readers do not know how lucky they are. Because 15 years ago, you had to read what the major publishers wanted to publish, and they published books that they thought would sell. Not good books, but books that they thought they would sell. Now, all across America, we have small publishers who are now publishing books that the writers want to write. You know, and I'm an excellent example of that, Marianne. I don't kill people. <clears throat> and for years, and years, and years <laughs> for years, people said, publishers said they wouldn't publish my stuff is because I didn't kill anybody because mysteries are murder. <laughs> and I'm telling you, with readers and writers, I've got a chance to go ahead and show that you don't have to kill somebody to have a great mystery story and great mystery novel. Be it's sure true, but mine's a thriller. Mine's a supernatural thing. There you go. 
but I'd probably still kill somebody if I were doing a mystery. So there you have it. I <laughs> Well, the battle, right. of the battle of the Books is excellent because it gives you a wide range of different subjects. Mm -hmm. And what is particularly good, most people who read, they would like to see something different, something unusual. But they don't know, they don't know what to, uh, to what actually read. With Battle of the Books and with Author Masterminds, you have a spread of people. And you can sit down and wander right through the website and say, I'll take a look. Let me read a couple of chapters and see if I like it. That's and it right. won't cost you anything. And That's that is right. wonderful because you cannot do that in a bookstore. Oh, and I have to show you this because, Valerie, you're gonna, not going to like me. Look what I got in the mail. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm <laughs> Steve Levi, you, you bribed her. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, if, right, if you I'm want, if that anybody that wants, I've got, I've got ten of these, ten of these ready to go. Personally signed, I'll drop them in the mail. Good Just pictures. Shoot Good my picture. email. So, uh, Steve, your email address. Get, it's Steve at stevelevibooks.com. I'm waiting for those. I'm waiting for those emails to come in. Steve, <laughs> that's a S T E V E, Steve yeah, Levi, at, all one yep, word, at stevelevibooks.com. Stevelevibooks.com. Dot com. As in plural, books. Steve right. Levi books. I yeah. want to say that two or three times so that people can uh, say. So I'm going to say Steve Levi books three times. Steve Levi books dot com. Steve Levi books dot com. Steve Steve Levi books dot com. Well, you could get your tongue all twisted on that one. Hey, Steve. hey, hey. <laughs> you know, I just keep saying authormasterminds.com and look for Steve Levi. I mean, I'm there too. Yeah. yeah, we all are. That's true, yeah. Steve. Okay, yeah. They can preview everybody's books there. Yeah. Uh, Mary Ann, did you, uh, were you able to connect with Valerie? Ashley? Ashley. Or Ashley, I, I mean, excuse I me. did. Um, I did send her an email. Yes. Uh -huh. So I haven't okay. heard from her. I don't know if she's going to. Um, well, we'll, we'll be around for a few minutes. Maybe she'll join us. That would be nice if she could. Of course, she she she, yeah. she uh, would would like to visit with her. She wow. may be now that Steve's here. She may think that she's overpowered or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I know. I'm pretty sure I sent her the right. What if I sent her the wrong address? Right. Oopsie. So. Uh, yeah. No, I think I sent her the one that the, we used yesterday. The nice thing about the reader. Nice thing about the readers and writers club, is if you really don't know what it is that you like. And you just want a sample of short stories. They've got, you know, all of us have short stories there. So you can get in and you can go ahead and you can read about a page and a half and say, nah, this isn't what I want to do, but and go on to somebody else and it doesn't cost you anything. You cannot do that. I keep saying this over and over. You cannot do that in a bookstore. Right. In a bookstore, you're kind of stuck. You have to wander and you take a look at this, you can take a look at that. And then you've got to make a choice. Readers and writers, you don't have to do that. You can wander on through, read a short story and say, hey, this is great. I'll see if you can read another one. Or if you can say, well, look, I'd really like to see, you know, a horror. I don't know why, but if you really want to read a <laughs> horror story, me. <laughs> you can go on and you can read hers too. But you've got a choice. That's the most important thing. Readers and writers, you have a choice of what you want to read, not what the publisher thinks you should be buying. And this is a real change. That's why I'm saying we're in a golden age of literature, because now you can read what you want to read. You don't have to read what the publishers are saying. Hey, this is a great book. So, and not only Steve, that, am I not only that oh. oh, sorry, Marianne. No, you not go only ahead, that, Steve, but um, you know, you can't go into a bookstore and hook up with four authors and chat with them like you can, like we're doing right now on That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, three I, authors I, and a publisher. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> However, well, I did. I did write a book. You did. Uh, uh, yeah. In fact, mm -hmm. I've written four books. So I, I guess I am. A, I are a writer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, a, a writer is really a broadcaster. You're broadcasting your creative idea. It's not like you're putting words down on a piece of paper and then walking away. You know, because when I go ahead and do one of my impossible crimes, I am thinking about it. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can fool the reader as long as I possibly can. 
and I'm talking to the reader. I am not putting out a book and then dumping it onto the shelf and walking away. All of us that are in author masterminds are, are broadcasters and we are broadcasting to the readers and saying, hey, you know, let me tell you a story. And it's not like we are going ahead and printing something and then walking away like it's a, like it's a piece of meat or a carrot. <laughs> hey, I'm going to ask you three, three authors a question. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you which one I'm going to pick on first. <laughs> so, but, so all of you get ready. And the question is, I'm going to ask you is in uh, associating with your readers, either on email, telephone, book signings, over the back fence at the store, stand in line, uh, waiting for uh, the dentist, uh, the doctor. I know you've met people that have read your books in all of those places. What has been the most interesting, memorable experience that you've had with one of your readers of your books? I'll give you a second to think about that. What has been the most memorable, interesting experience that you've had with one of your readers? I have a really, Valerie? Great, one. I have a really great one. Okay. My husband and I were on our way to Alaska in 2018, and we were going to be doing some book signings in Alaska because Alaska's Savage or um, Road Trip with Remington Beagle had just come out. And my previous book was called Alaska's Savage River, and it was about a little campground in Denali National Park and Preserve. So we love to stop on our, on our trip to Alaska. We always stop at Laird Hot Springs. And if you are not familiar with Laird Hot Springs, it's in the middle of nowhere. And you, there's a rustic campground and you walk a quarter of a mile to get back to the hot springs. So we're all the way back in the hot springs and my husband goes down to the cooler part of the hot springs for a while. And I thought, well, I better go check on him and see how he's doing. And I went down there and as he sees me coming, he's pointing at me. He was talking to a man and the man said, Dave said, you going up, you going down. The guy said, we're headed up and we're gonna camp at a campground called Savage River in Denali Park. I read a book by a woman who was a campground host there. And so we're excited about getting up there. And, and Dave said, well, you wanna meet her? Here she comes right now. <laughs> 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 hey, I've been to uh, Laird Hot Springs, Valerie, <laughs> and it is out of the middle of nowhere. However, the people at, at uh, Laird Hot Springs thinks that they're the center of the world and everything oh, else is someplace else. That's true. <laughs> but isn't it amazing you, you run into people like that? Yeah. Uh, Marianne, your most interesting, memorable experience with, an, uh, with a writer or a reader. A reader. Well, you know, the one that comes to mind, I've had several, but the one that comes to mind is when in Fred Meyer, when I was checking out at a cashier um, there, and she looked at me and she said, how do you sleep at night? And I said, uh, very well, why? She said, well, you write all the, she read all the books. <laughs> she read all my books. <laughs> she was like, how do you sleep at night? And I said, very well, thank you. <laughs> my, my question would have been after I found out that she read all the books, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> uh, uh, that was one of my fun ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's interesting. Steve, <laughs> before I uh, uh, ask you that question, I want to share mine. I was uh, on an airplane leaving Alaska. And uh, as we took off of Anchorage, you that have been on that airplane know that you fly uh, down towards Portage and uh, over 20 Mile Creek. And uh, I was uh, looking out the window and the guy that was to my right looking out the window over my shoulder, uh, he said, what's that down there? And I said, that's 20 Mile Creek. He says, I just read an article about a, a guy that uh, had his car down there, got caught in the tide. <laughs> I said, really? And he said, yeah. I said, well, I'm the guy that wrote the article of my car. And, you know, salt water <laughs> over the seats of your car, <laughs> they, they, they make it kind of smelly. I can tell you that. 
and, and, and it's best to keep your car above the tidewater, about the high high water mark on that. Good to Steve, know. your okay. most interesting, memorable well, experience with a with a guess, breeder. Over the, over the years, I've had a lot of people say odd things, but you know, the best one was I was down in San Francisco for the 100th anniversary of the Preparedness Day bombing. I did a book on the Preparedness Day bombing a long time ago. And I got a small grant to fly down to San Francisco. It's a Preparedness Day bombing took place on July 16th, uh, 1916. And I got a, a grant to fly down there for the 100th anniversary. And I was talking to some labor people. And I had been down there, like I went down there and talked to them. And I took 10 copies of my Vanishing Greyhound. The Vanishing Greyhound, the Greyhound is being followed by the police and it drives out onto the Golden Gate Bridge and vanishes. Mm -hmm. And so I had 10 of them and I just gave them away. I figured, hey, you know, we can, so you guys should be making a movie about this. And then this one guy that looked at it and he said, you're not going to get a Graham bus to disappear off the Golden Gate Bridge. And I said, hey, read the book, you know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, here, it's a free book. And I signed it for him. I gave it to him. I figured that's the last time I'm going to see him. And next day, I'm down at the, down the sidewalk, you know, and we're kind of there a hundred years ago, a hundred years ago in a day was a day later, we're sitting on the sidewalk and you know, the whole thing has changed. And I turn around, this guy comes up to me and he taps me on the, sh the chest with the book. And he says, you know, they could have done it that way. <laughs> you know, I said, well, good. Tell all your friends to buy the book. And he said, yeah, okay, okay. You know, but I'm going, I actually read somebody that actually read the book and he read the book in a day. So I'm going, wow. You know, I'd like to say to myself that you, you might have done that one right, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and indeed you did. All right. Anything that, uh, anything over on the uh, Facebook Live, Marianne? That no, should, uh... um, so Greg, Gregoire did let us know why Steve had gone off for a while. He was writing down an, a new idea. As we talked about Steve, he never stops writing. Um, and then... Steve, I mean, Sil Ashley actually, there goes, see, I'm catching it from you, Evan. Um, Sil actually said she writes because she's part of Author Masterminds. She writes because she wants to share her creativity with others, and she loves to hear from readers who enjoy her work. And um, D.B. Cooper says to Valerie, apparently Remington and Honey Bee traveled some of the same roads, <laughs> especially in Alaska. <laughs> Well, that's kind of an inside joke between those two because Honeybee <laughs> was uh, the cat, Walter's <laughs> cat, and they did go to Laird Hot Springs. And uh, Valerie, I think I have this right, but I I think that maybe Honeybee is buried near or at uh, Laird Hot Springs. Uh, Walter, oh, if oh. you're there, why uh, let us know if that's uh, true well, or not. I, 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 I hope remember, she was dead when they buried her. You're so bad, Steve. Dave, you are so bad. Who invited him anyway? <laughs> yeah, we'll have a chat later. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk later, Steve. Okay. <laughs> Anything uh, else that anyone would like to bring up today as, uh, as we end this meeting? It's been fun. I'm glad that we've got this chance to, to be oh, together. The, the last thing I want to say is you readers do not know how lucky you are. The spread of subjects is suddenly available to you. You can read what you want, not what some publisher in New York says you should be reading. So take advantage of it. Author Masterminds is an excellent place to start. Readers and writers club is an excellent place because the spread of subjects is great and you're not paying to read this and this animal like this and you've already paid for the book and you're stuck with it readers and writers what you do is you can go through and choose any short story you like and if you really like that author go to author masterminds and buy their book <laughs> did you notice that steve come back with that right after <laughs> hey <laughs> after we threatened him <laughs> come back and say something nice Steve, you're not only a good writer, you're a diplomat. <laughs> yeah, he really is. And don't forget about the drawing, Evan. I don't know what we need to do, but. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, yes. The drawing is uh, automated. So mm -hmm. all people have to do is they receive their email 
and following uh, the broadcast today, we will be checking, uh, Jen will be checking that, determining who the winners are. We'll have a $25 gift certificate to Amazon and then one of the free uh, string packs, as they call it, backpacks with a readers and writers logo on it. And they're nice, uh, especially in the day and age where you have to take your own bag to the store uh, here in Alaska and other places. Uh, so that works out just right. You can put it on your back or you can carry it, either one. I've done it, it works. Uh, so uh, be sure and fill out your uh, entry to that if you've got the email. And you that didn't get the email and are listening means that you're not a member of the club. So join the club. And if you don't know how, uh, just uh, put it on the, on the group right there. And we'll let you know how to join the club. Uh, so anyway, it's been nice uh, for me to be here. Any, anything that anyone would like to just say as we, as we sign off? No, I, say, I hope that people get Steve's book because he can write. Yeah, you want to you want to get the poem book. Yeah, okay, well, send, send your email in and put the address, and I'll send you the poem. Yeah. I, yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to end with a little thing on the book club uh, advertising the advertising the intro. I guess they call it to the Battle of the Books. Uh, we'll end there, and then we'll uh, see you next time, next month, about this same time, about the last Tuesday of the month. But in the meantime. Uh, keep in touch. Uh, 